Hello, everybody. Welcome to Poke Sports. It's your host, Mike, and I play with two Pokemon on the field. Ladies and gentlemen, today we're playing with the captain's crew. This team right here is uh, brought to us by Captain Unova, uh, who brought this into the Pokepod Cup, uh, having a great run to the top eight. This is a Xerneas team that uh, he has decided to grace us with, uh, consisting of Xerneas, Ndidi, Jellicent. Jellicent's an interesting one. I am very excited to try out that Jellicent, the Rotom Heat, the Grim Snarl, and the Rillaboom. Uh, we're going to see what this team can do. The sets look pretty standard, except for the fact that, you know, a Jellicent is here. And what, what does a Jellicent even do? I know that it goes for Strength Zap. I know that it goes for Will-O-Wisp. But uh, what other things can it do? We're going to find out in just a second. Whoa, let's jump into the battles. Here we go. Okay, so going into this game over here... Uh, I am interested into. Uh, I'm, I'm interested to see what this what the Xerneas can do here. Uh, I feel like Indeedy is pretty necessary uh, to go for those initial follow me's so that you can set up the Geomancies. A uh, big threat to this team, I would imagine, is Dialga. I'm trying to think of what I can do against a Dialga. I guess I can bring the Rotom. I guess I can bring the Rillaboom. Dynamax the Rillaboom. If a Dialga is here, then I have to Dynamax the Rillaboom. I think that's that's just it. Um, Laos is bringing a Jellicent with a Sun Team. Neat. We're seeing a Sableye with Quash, probably, and Articuno with Competitive. We're not going to want to bring... Oh, we don't have any Intimidators this time around, so neat. Uh, I think we can just go for... Is Ndidi necessary here? I don't see it as not, like, unnecessary. I don't see it as a problem. So, you know what? Let's go for Xerneas and Didi. Uh, that, sound, that seems like a pretty good initial combo, right? Like, follow me plus Geomancy. Um, boosh. We can bring the Jellicent. We can also bring the Rillaboom. Can we not? Could bring the Grimmsnarl and the Rillaboom. But... Ooh, I just like the idea of Strength Sap on Rillaboom and Strength Sap on Groudon. Just oh so much. So I'm going to do that. I also feel like I really need Rillaboom, though, but maybe I don't. Because there is that Charizard. Maybe I need the Rotom instead. Yeah, you know what? I think I need the Rotom. I'm going to do it. I probably should have brought the Rillaboom. Uh, yeah, this is a bit of a coin toss. Depends on if I can get rid of the Groudon before. Wow, so you are cool, dude. Uh, depends on if I can get rid of the Groudon before it gets rid of me. <laughs> Vanalux and Charizard is a combo. One might call that a combination. Cool. Anyway, radiating fairy aura. There's the snow. I, like, I, I truly, truly don't understand what the combo here is. If there is one. The special defense up from the psychic seed is going to be pretty, pretty choice right now. We're going to go for a follow me. Oh, the next turn I can go for a helping hand. That is just gross. Uh, go for the geomancy. And let's just let's just observe, right? Let's just see what they can do. So I mean, I get both of my attacks off before before them. Now, obviously, the the Indeedy has priority here, but anyway, here comes the Geomancy. I feel like next turn I might even be able to. Go for a Dazzling Gleam, but I, I won't. Yeah. The spread moves. Okay, we're going for Heat Wave as well. Yeah. It's fine. That's fine. Everyone's going to get buffeted here. We're going to go for the Helping Hand because I don't... Mm, 
Yeah, we're going to go for the helping hand. Oh, man. So here's the thing. I can Dynamax this and go for a Starfall. I can Starfall this Charizard and, like, really, really likely take it out. Then there's a Vanalux going for Blizzard. I think that's just the right play. Just, like, super overkill this Charizard. Because I don't want Charizard to be alive through this. An X-Band Force last turn would have been would have been so, so cool. Even though I am, you know, half health, I think this is still the right play. So indeed, he's going to go for the Helping Hand. Xerneas is going to go for the Starfall. Bye, Charizard. Yeah, good. So the blizzard wasn't enough. Uh, yes, it was. Yes, it was. Indeed, he is going to be buffeted right out of here, which is fine. Which is fine. Because I don't need the helping hand anyway. I'm plus two. Uh, plus two. We're going to bring out the Rotom. Uh, hmm. Let's see. Yeah, we're going to bring out the Rotom here. Here comes the Sable Eye. You know what I don't think my opponent's expecting? Is an overheat on the Vanalux and a Max Guard. I don't think my opponent is expecting a Max Guard. Rotom takes some pretty serious damage. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're kidding. <laughs> You're joking right now. That is not funny at all. Not a fan. Well, I guess we're gonna try and break out of freezing, but we'll go for the Starfall. We'll go for the Sableye. Check it, check it, check it. Okay, good. Cool. So at least we're not taking any unnecessary burns. Let's just get rid of that Sableye real quick. And Blizzard won't get rid of me here, because that only did 50 damage last time. Good. We are more than... More than healthy. Okay. So here's the Groudon that I was worried about. I, I needed to take out that Groudon before it took me out. That's what I said at the very beginning. That is my win condition. If I take out that Groudon, then Rotom Heat lies pretty much uncontested. Um, so I'm able now to go for the Overheat, the big old Overheat. Uh, there's no... There is a priority move in play here. There could be a nice shard, but I don't think that will take out my Xerneas at all. Um, however, Dynamax. Here that comes. Here that comes. Um, I mean, we'll we'll see how we how we do here. I know Jellicent can do Jellicent things. No, if this is a max guard, then I'm in big old trouble. Nope. Okay. Rotom? Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Now, if this blizzard doesn't take out my Xerneas, then I'm still alright. No, it's freeze-dry. That's still not going to take on my Xerneas, right? Yes, it is. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, okay. Oh, indeed he's gone. I forgot indeed he was gone. Oh, the rock ball was so good. But you know what? We're going to go for a strength sap. That's that's how we're going to do it. We're going to hope that freeze dry oh, isn't going to take out the Vanalux. Max Quake is nasty. Okay. Isn't going to take out my Jellicent. I know I said Vanalux. That's wrong. Yeah, okay. No, that's fair. I I should have brought the Rillaboom instead of the Jellicent. I don't know what... Uh, instead of the Rotom. I don't know what I was thinking there. Oh, that would have been so much better. Yeesh. Going for that uh, Grassy Glide there instead of the... I wouldn't even have had to go for a Grassy Glide, to be honest. I could have just gone for the Wood Hammer. Um, meanwhile, my opponent... Yeah, not my opponent. Just, just had the better better bring there okay that's fine you know what? we're gonna go into game two we're gonna use what we just learned and win the next one let's do it okay so going up this time against a Kiram white oh Kiram white you say uh fairy type's still gonna be really really good here except for the metagross i'm gonna need something that can take care of the metagross and that jellicent can i do it with jellicent hmm okay uh, Rotom, Grimmsnarl, Rillaboom. Rillaboom is... Rillaboom's unnecessary. No, it's so necessary. I, I need to bring it. I need to bring it. Uh, Jellicent and Rillaboom in the back. Yeah? Yeah. That'll do it. Indeedy, Xerneas... Rotom and Rillaboom. Yes. Because this Rillaboom doesn't run fake out, I can't run it in the front. Um, also, there's an Indeedee in that team, so I can't do Indeedee things. Yeah, I think that works. I think that works. And, learning from last time, if there are any... Pokemon with spread moves. Uh, I'm just going to not cut corners and go for expanding force. No Pokemon with spread moves. We can go for the follow me is here. Yeah, it's it's a little um, scary that the Metagross is out like this early, leading with the Metagross is. Uh, Pretty yucktastic. Makes me want to have the Rotom out. So, you know what? Let's kill off the Ndidi. Let's follow me. Let's Geomancy. Next turn, I will Dynamax the Rotom. Go for the Max Flare on the Metagross. While protecting the Xerneas. I think that works. Absorb some power. Yeah, the, the line seems to work. I, I think the Suicune kind of has an opportunity to set up here, which is a little scary, but here comes the Meteor Mash. Not going to be enough to take out. Mm, we're just going to be a plus one here. Wait. So that's just another follow me. Yeah. Okay. So we do that. We go for the moon blast on the Suicune. We're going to try and take out the Suicune now. Yeah, Metagross is going to protect. I don't care about the Metagross. That's fine. That's fine. Just means that I could have gone for a... It's weird that he would, he would protect the, the Metagross anyway. Uh, mm. That's not wonderful. 
The double icy wind is going to make me wonder how gross this Metagross is. Because I have a, a sneaking suspicion that Xerneas is just faster by default. Yeah, that's got 99 base, whereas this has what? 70. So I am likely to take that out if I just go for another follow me. I have to keep going for follow me's as long as this, this, this Suicune is up. Or, wait. That's not true. I can just go for a double protect. I think that is the play. It's actually going to withdraw Suicune here for Comfy. It's fine, I guess. Wow, actually targeting the Ndidi. Kind of makes me wonder if I really need to, you know? If I really need to target the Ndidi or if I really need to follow me the Ndidi. Mm, I know that, okay, so my Xerneas should outspeed. I kind of just want to take out the Comfy. I'm going to I'm gonna see if I can sneak one in. Just let me let me try and sneak one in. I still have, I have self Dynamax. I can still d deal with the Metagross. The Suicune's at like 25% HP. If I can just do this damage to the comfy then I might be in a very good position here yeah no we forgot about the psychic terrain didn't we okay let's get rid of that comfy yeah still targeted the Ndidi that's pretty great That is pretty great. Okay, so we can still do the same thing. We're gonna bring out the Rotom. We're going to overheat, uh, sorry, Max Flare, the the Rillaboom there. And we're gonna protect with Xerneas. Because Xerneas is probably the obvious target here. Again, Xerneas it outspeeds that Metagross. And I'm, I hope my opponent isn't betting on this. <laughs> but we'll uh, we'll give it a shot. So my opponent's going to Dynamax too. Has a full HP Metagross, so this is uh, pretty yucky. Got to do as much damage with the Max Flare as I can right now so that my Moonblast, I have to target the, the Metagross with the Moonblast next turn. Got to do it. Metagross doesn't have Rockfall as far as I know. Metagross typically runs, what is that? Steel Spike, uh, Quake. That's all I can think of. That's fine. Yeah, so let's protect with the Xerneas. Oh. Whoops. Made a mistake there, bud. That should be a lot better. Ooh. Um. Ooh. Hopefully we'll be fine. We're just lowering our own Suicune's. Uh, or not Suicune speed, but damaging our <laughs> their own Metagross. Weirdness is going to disappear. Okay. Okay, okay. So here's the here's the catch twenty two. If I go for Max Lightning on the Metagross, probably gonna take it out. If I go for G Moonblast on the Metagross, probably gonna take it out. If it goes for uh protect, if it goes for Max Guard, I'm in trouble. And if it goes for Xerneas, then I win. So no, we're gonna go for Max Flare on the Metagross. We're gonna go for Moonblast on the Suicune. It was a half thought. 
now we got it. Okay, and it turns out that no one's gonna max guard this turn anyway. So my my Xerneas may go down here, but we have one just proved that we live through this, and two, or not live through this, that we outspeed the Metagross, and two, uh, taking out the Metagross. So that's fine. I could have kept the Xerneas alive if I had gone for um, a Moonblast on the Metagross, taking that out. The Suicune would have been left up. Uh, it looks like it's only going for speed control with that with that Suicune. Um, but, you know, it at the end of the day, it didn't matter because I still had the the Rotom and the, and the Real Boom up. Anyway, this should be, hopefully, this should be... Uh, a, a quick end to this game. We've got just the Kyurem left behind. Just the Kyurem left behind. So Rotom here can go for a nice max flare in the sun with stab and then high horsepower from the Rillaboom. Is that actually the right is that the right play? No, I think Woodhammer is actually still going to be doing uh, more damage, right? 95. Uh, Woodhammer is 180 plus 30% is close to 60. Let's call it 50. Uh, that's 230. Yeah. <laughs> 230, cut that in half, is one something. So always higher than, than that. Not bad. Not a bad move. Still gonna do a little bit of damage to it though. It did decent damage through Protect. I'm curious if I should go for a nasty plot. No, no, let's let's not risk that. Let's let's just go for a Regular old everything. Yeah, Kyurem going for the freeze dry on the roll boom is obvious, makes sense. That's going to go down. I guess I could have bought myself an extra turn if I just protected. That was kind of the, that was the play, right? But I think overheat will just take it out. Yeah. Whoo! Hee hee hee! If it had lived that, if that had somehow not done uh, a decent amount of damage, a good chunk of damage, then that... Uh, would have been a big problem for me. Because then my special attack would have gone way down. No, I'd have had to go and set up a nasty plot. I don't want to set up a nasty plot. I'm not plotting that nasty right now. Uh, let's go and do one more game. Let's see if we can pull out a uh, second win. Because that was fun. I think we did better that game. Uh, made maybe a couple misplays, but, but there was uh, a decent amount of of good uh, calls in this game that I'm hoping I can just rep rep replicate. Leprechaun. Let's go into game three. Berm, take us, take us over. Take us there. Go. Okay. So going up against, okay. Going up against a Series 8 Reggie Gigas wheezing team from Japan. Uh, what what do what do if i go for xerneas if i go for xerneas and dd again i can follow me out of almost any bad situation follow me geomancy again it willingly lose the Ndidi and then go for the gigas with the moon blast so let's let's try that the Xerneas gets left in a left in a, a pretty bad spot if that happens. So if the Ndidi goes down, then the Xerneas gets left in a pretty bad spot. Um So what do I do to get the wheezing out of there? If it has newt if it has newt gas, then going for the Rillaboom is fine, because it doesn't have levitate. Um Rotom does nothing. Rotom does nothing. Grimmsnarl 
does not enough, but it there is a Calyrex on that team, so I am... You know what? Let's bring the Jellicent. I think Jellicent might be able to do something here. There's there's the Rillaboom that I have to worry about, but as long as the Rillaboom isn't there, uh, once the, <laughs> once the uh, Jellicent comes out, then I might be okay. I think. I think. So we're going to be leading with, obviously, that. I don't care for my Fairy Aura. In this case, I don't really care for the uh, Psychic Terrain. That's okay. Newt Gas is there. Uh, getting the minus one speed actually probably wouldn't be too great, but... Say lovey. Let's go for Follow Me here. I'm looking at that Expanding Force. I'm like, oh, that's pretty good, isn't it? We'll go for the Xerneas. I mean, we'll go for the Geomancy. Um, a max strike is going to be pretty nasty. Getting that minus speed isn't going to be nice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, as long as the Gigas doesn't one-hit me, I'm... Happy. There's so many flaws in what I had considered. But a plus one speed. That's pretty nice. Should I be attacking the wheezing? Oh, maybe. Oh, maybe. Nope. Can't do that now. I don't hate that. I don't hate that. Because now I can go for the uh, helping hand on the Xur. I can go for the... Oh, man. Should I go for the... Should I really go for it? No. I, I kind of want to go for... Uh, Dynamax from the Rillaboom. Yeah, the Rillaboom. So let's do that. Alright, why not? Ugh, that's not going to take it out. It's never going to take that out. It's just going to do so much more damage, man. Alright, let's go for it. Let's go for it. I mean, this also kind of saves us from the wheezing as well. Yeah, Helping Hand Starfall. Helping Hand Starfall should, at plus two, should be enough to just power down this, this Gigas. So let's see it happen. No, it's not. Oh my gosh. Wow. Uh, you're kidding me. And then the big steel spike on the Xur. Yeah, that's fine. It doesn't do all the damage, but... My lord, it sure does quite a bit. Then the Sludge Bomb, also on the Xerneas. Not going to be enough to take it out, plus I can't get poisoned. So, there is that. Got to go for that Follow Me now, though. Yeah, I have to. I have to, have to. Uh, we're going to take out the Gigas one time. Yeah, this is a... No, it's not a Protect. Okay. Gigas down. Gigas down and DD down. Doesn't matter. Nothing else matters. There's no abilities. We're okay. We can take out a Weezing right now. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. Do we even want to take out the Weezing? I don't think... I don't think we need to. 
Mm. There's a Jellicent. I only have a Jellicent. Yeah, let's bring out the Rillaboom. Um, let's see what the, the other Pokemon is. I just need to outspeed whatever the other guy is. Calyrex. I do. I do outspeed that. I need to take it out. Um, hmm. So, problem one is both of my Pokemon are weak to poison. Uh, Rillab Rillaboom isn't going to go down. That's a fact. Rillaboom isn't going to go down to a sludge bomb. Xerneas will. Does that mean I protect the Xerneas? No. That means I still go for... Yeah. I still go for the Calyrex. Calyrex is going to protect so hard, and I'm going to be incredibly sad. Nope. Oh yeah, Grassy Glide isn't even right, because I don't have my terrain out. Well, I wonder if I'm going to take out this, this wheezing sub. Nope. <laughs> Oops. That should have been a high horsepower. Let's see how badly I lose because of that. I'm it's not going to target the it's not going to target the Xerneas. Wow. That's surprising. That is surprising. I now have a super fast Xerneas. Okay, so I misplayed, but I I have a feeling that my opponent misplayed even harder. Uh yep. Yep, that's fine. That is fine. We're going to high horsepower this losing. We're going to Moonblast. Yes. Or are we going to swap out into Jellicent here? We're gonna Moonblast that. No, we're not gonna swap out. We're not gonna swap Rillaboom out into Jellicent. The Sucker Punch is going to take out my Rillaboom. That's okay. That should have been a swap out into Jellison. It's fine. Dang it. Oh, no. If I had swapped out into Jellicent there, that Sucker Punch would have missed, the Xerneas would have gone down, my Rillaboom would have come out, wouldn't have been able to go for uh, Grassy Glide. Would have been on the back end, would have had to go for a Protect this turn, where Jellicent goes for doesn't matter. A Shadow Ball. On the Cinderace. Sucker Punch does about half, okay. There's no Libero, by the way. Which is interesting. Oh, hello. That does no damage. Huh. That does no damage, and it's a Jellicent versus... A wheezing. Would have had um, grassy terrain up. No, I wouldn't have. No, I wouldn't have. Would not have. Is it worth going for a trick room? No, it's not. We're gonna go for the. <laughs> gonna go for a shadow ball. We're just gonna have to hope for special defense drops. And then at some point, go for a strength sap. <laughs> yeah, I mean that makes sense. That makes sense. It's not gonna help. And I'm going to eventually have to do the exact same thing to their wheezing, but... So that fades the substitute. Mind you, that... Eh. Hold on. I've got to go for a trick room right now. This is my one chance to go for a trick room in this game. 
There's going to be a substitute. Yeah. I can't strength sap a substitute, I don't think. Jellicent's about to show off all its moves. I hate Black Sludge. I hate it so much. Okay. Hello? Oh. No. Yeah, just gonna stall me out there. This could be a sludge bomb and it would be, you know, game. I think. Because then I would get one burn tick, it would protect next time, and then I'd get another burn tick. So that does that much damage. Uh, if this does more than 14 damage, then I'm a sad little boy. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Alright, let's show it what we can do. Let's strength set this boy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Heals all the way up to full. Let's let's string sap it once. Let's just get the satisfaction of sucking up all that nasty gas. Yeah, okay, we're not playing this. We're not playing this. I just wanted to see this happen. Okay, so here's the thing. I don't think um, that that time that I was running through the line in my head, I don't know if that was the right way to win. I think with Reggie Gigas and Weezing, the best tried and true way of shutting down a Reggie Gigas is to take out its partner Weezing. If you can take out its partner Weezing and cut its attack in half, that's basically like you're burning it. You're cutting its speed in half. Um, it's as good as done. Because in this situation right here, that like I really, really wish this Weezing were gone. I wish it were gone like immediately. I'm not sure what the, the right first turn play would have been. Perhaps hoping, hope, hoping, hoping that Indeedy would survive the first hit and then going for uh, Expanding Force plus... No, I couldn't even go for Expanding Force. There was, no, there was no Psychic Terrain up. I could go for Expanding Force, but it would, it would have to be just on the... Just on the Weezing, which I guess I could do. And then double into it with the Xerneas... Um, so I did have the room to go for that one, but I don't know. I don't know. There, uh, that was a, a strange, a strange battle there. Maybe going for Grimmsnarl at some point? No, Grimmsnarl wouldn't have been good either. Hmm. All right. Well, let's go and take a look at this Captain's Crew. Captain's Crew runs with a Xerneas that uses Geomancy. Obviously, the, the Xerneas is pretty pretty darn good, let me just say. Um, I don't know. I feel like it, it doesn't uh, survive as well in VGC 2021. But, um, you know, there's there's always room to, to experiment. In DD, same kind of thing. I feel like it's, it's going downhill. I mean, hey, this thing, this team lasted uh, into top eight. Um, at a at the Pokepod 2 tournament. So clearly the person playing it was very, very skilled. Good job, Captain. Jellicent is a interesting Pokemon. Trick Room, Strength Sap, Will Wisp, Shadow Ball. That's a it's a Jellicent that I have not seen um, at all in Sword and Shield. Haven't seen a single Jellicent. Love this. Uh, continue doing that. Make it work. Make it rock. Uh, Grimmsnarl, I'm still I'm loving Grimmsnarls on my team, though. So. Grimmsnarls are, are always really, really good. Rotoms as well. Uh, I'm trying, trying, trying to get more on the Rotom train. It's hard for me. 
because I personally I've I've had such a bad experience with Rotom's being frail and you know not uh, dealing damage. It just kind of doesn't do either of the things that I want it to do. So uh, I'm I'm trying to actively change that. Rillaboom just is Rillaboom. Rillaboom's amazing. Anyway, that has been uh, this team. I have been Mike. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure you leave a like down below. Uh, leave a comment. Period. See you next time. <laughs> Bye, everybody. <laughs>